Hi everyone, my name is Mohit Galva and I'm from Camping Networks. Today in this video, we would talk about Scene Pilot E500 out of box components, different parts of this uh, access points, installation accessories, and how to install or mount this access point. Also, we would be talking about how to use the cable gland and with the Ethernet cable to power on this access point. Let's take a look. This box comes with the instruction document, the access point itself, and also it comes with the Polcom wall mount mounting bracket, two IP67 uh, grade cable glands, two hose clamps, a 30 watt or 56 volts uh, gigabit power injector, and an optionally power cord. This access point comes with two gigabit Ethernet ports, the PoE in port and the PoE out port. The PoE in port is required to power on this particular device itself and the PoE out port is required to power on any other device. If this access point is powered on using the Camium supplied uh, power adapter that supplies 30 watt of power uh, at uh, 56 volts, the Ethernet 2 port can actually act as a data plus power out. That is, it can provide uh, power to any other POE device uh, to actually power on a Camium WAN backhaul device. If the auxiliary port is used to power on uh, other POE device, it is always recommended to use Ethernet cable not more than 10 feet from the auxiliary port to the POE device. As you can see, this access point comes with two LEDs. The LED1 is a power LED and the LED2 is a network LED. When the access point is booting up, at that time, the LED1, which is the power LED, would actually glow amber in color. And once the access point boots up properly, this particular LED would actually glow green in color, the way it is depicted here. The LED2 would glow amber in color if this access point is working in the standalone mode or if it has lost its connection with CN Maestro, which is our cloud solution. This LED network LED turns green in color when this access point is managed using the CN Maestro, our cloud solution. There is also a reset button just below the Ethernet 1 port and this, Ethan, this particular reset button has to be pressed for about 14 seconds in order to do the factory defaults. And an important point to be noted, this reset button uh, is supposed to be pressed very gently as it might actually go ahead and damage this particular reset button which eventually would result in the replacement of the access point. This PoE adapter comes with 36 volts or 56 volts specification. The ports are gigabit uh, capable. The ports pump with the data plus power should go to the Ethernet port 1 of this particular access point and the ports mark with the gigabit data should actually go to the layer 2 or layer 3 switch. Now, important point, this PoE adapter is not IP67 uh, grade. So please ensure that the power adapter is protected from rain and dust. This e access point comes with wall and pole mounting accessories. The wall mounting can be done with or without the mounting bracket. The glands can be very easily connected by rotating into this particular Ethernet port like this. And also for pole mounting, it also comes with these two hose clamps, wherein the pole width should be between 1.5 inches to a maximum of 3.5 inches. Specifically for the outdoor uh, deployment, it is highly recommended that the Cambium Gigabit Ethernet uh, Search Suppressor should be actually utilized between this access point and the power adapter. I'd like to highlight a few additional recommended guidelines for outdoor deployment. The first thing, the recommended height of the access point should not be more than 20 to 25 feet from the ground. Next, the access point should not be mounted or installed near high reflective surface like glass window or metal grate or any other electrical uh, equipment like transformers. Also, the access point should be kept one or two feet away from the wall for vertical mounting. The next important guideline, if the access point powers on using the inverter, Please ensure that the inverter is properly grounded to avoid damage to the access point from electrical surge because of lightning. Also, if the coverage is needed for, in the building from top to bottom, please ensure to keep the access point facing downwards like this. 
The next important point is to avoid the water ingress is by simply looping in the cable like this going to the PoE port. Let's take a quick look at the IP67 grade gland connector. It's very simple. All we have to do is remove the uh, upper portion of this particular gland connector, take this particular black portion out, insert the Ethernet cable from this particular end, and eventually the cable would be securely connected with this particular port as you can see. Also, it is highly recommended if the Ethernet port 2 is not being utilized, it actually has to be covered with this particular plastic cap, which comes with the access point. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for watching.